Good morning, Glads, and thanks for tuning in for our first broadcast of the year. I'm Daniel Robinson. And I'm Moose Santos. Let's get started. This is your KWHS News. College and recruiter visits kicked off last week, and this month we continue to have many great schools visiting us. Remember, most of these visits happen during advisory unless otherwise noted, and you do need a pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Today, you can visit with the reps from Western State Colorado University. Next week on Wednesday, the IntelliTech College reps will be here, followed by the reps from the Paul Mitchell School on Thursday, September 13th. They'll be here at lunch in the lower comments. On Tuesday, September 18th, the reps from the Savannah College of Art and Design will, will also be here. October visits kick off on October 2nd with Colorado Mason University. On Wednesday, October 3rd, the CU Boulder admission reps will be here during advisory and later that day. The Barbizon Modeling School will be here during lunch in the lower comments. The reps from CSU Pueblo will be here on October 11th. November visits start with Fort Hayes State University on November 13th. UCCS is scheduled for November 15th and after Thanksgiving, Adams State plans to visit on November 29th. We'll keep you posted on any changes to this schedule. So pencil them in on your calendar. The Counseling Center would also like us to know that there will be an ACT exam given here at WHS on Saturday, October 27th. The deadline to register for the exam is September 28th. There are also other testing dates and locations. To find out more information, go to this website. The cost for the exams are are as follows. No writing costs $50.50. ACT plus writing is $67. You can register online at this website. In club news, if you missed the German and German National Honor Society meeting, please see Frau Richards in room 132 for details. Likewise, if you didn't make it to the book club meeting on Friday and would like to add your name to the club, see Mrs. Molina in room 111 or Mrs. HK in the library. Guest forms for homecoming are now available in the main office. The deadline to have those back in is Friday, September 21st. Glads, Get your hat on to support the sophomore council this Friday. Buy your wristbands for $1 on Thursday at lunch and before school on Friday morning. If you're itching to find out what we're having for lunch today, you'll have to wait a bit longer. Miss Betsy and her guests are coming up, so stay tuned. First, we're headed to the sports desk with Ethan Simon for scores and upcoming sporting events. Ethan, take it away. Good morning, Gladiators. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Our Gladiators kicked off their season in August a week earlier than last year, so teams have been busy. If you haven't had a chance to catch a tennis match this year, you're in luck. Tomorrow, the boys will take the courts against the Fountain Valley Danes at 345, weather permitting. Come out and support our boys' tennis team. The boys' golf team was in Elizabeth yesterday at Spring Valley, and on Thursday, they'll be at Cheyenne Shadows on Fort Carson. We'll have their scores on Friday. Our Lady Glads volleyball team travels to Pueblo South on Thursday for a match at 6.30. If you can get down to Pueblo to support our ladies, they would appreciate it. In softball news, the Lady Glads are taking on the Titans from TCA on Thursday at 4 p.m. Come out and support the ladies as they punch in those runs. Last night, the boys' soccer team took on the Spartans from Doherty at Gary Berry Stadium, but could not capitalize on their skills and took a loss. The boys are off the field until September 11th. Coming off a loss against Denver South, our Gladiator football team travels to Jeffco Stadium this Friday against Wheat Ridge at 7 p.m. In cross-country news, Ryan Outler has been nominated for Athlete of the Week. He won our cross-country invitational on Friday, completing the 5K in 16 minutes and two seconds. Go to this link to vote for Ryan. The team is traveling to Lions High School this Saturday for the St. Rains Valley invite. In forensics news, if you missed the forensics meeting last week, please check in with Ms. Owen in room 210 to get the details for the upcoming season. And finally, here's our Charlie Cup update for the week. After two days of Charlie Cup training where students learned some rousing cheers led by the drum line, points were awarded to the freshman and sophomore classes. These are the current standings. Freshmen and juniors each have five points and sophomore Sophomores and seniors both have set. Stay tuned for Charlie Cup events during homecoming week. It will be your class's chance to earn some points. That's your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to you, Daniel and Moose. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glad. Do you need some community service for your resume? Then check this out. The Widefield Park and Rec Center is looking for a few good volunteers to help supervise games at the Fall Festival following the community parade on September 22nd. If you are interested, please see Miss Melton in room 103 for more information. Hungry yet? Here's Miss Betsy and her guests with today's lunch menu. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wednesday. It's already September.
September the 5th. I'm excited. Today we're going to have Mandarin chicken. I know you love it, so come on down. And then on Thursday, we're going to have a Philly steak and cheese sandwich. So have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Students, remember to return your free and reduced lunch applications to Miss Betsy or she cannot update your account. If you purchase school photos, you can pick those up in the main office. And if you need an after school participation waiver for clubs, study sessions, or to use the library, you can also get those in the main office. When you turn in your waiver, you will get a sticker for your ID. And closing out today's announcements is the very important information for credit recovery. Glads, if you need to make up credits to graduate on time, today is the deadline to sign up for the fall session. You can take up to two classes each session. Tuition is $100 per class, but it's an easy way to get back on track. The fall session starts on September 10th. See your counselor ASAP. That's it for our first broadcast. We'll be back on Friday with a remix video from the Environmental Club. I'm Daniel Robinson. And I'm Moose Santos. Have a great Wednesday, Glads.